Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, my name's Lauren. We're back from Austin, Texas. If you missed that vlog, I'm gonna link it up here. Craziest travel experience coming back. I mean, I guess it like wasn't too crazy. We just didn't get home until 3.30 a.m. and we were supposed to get home at nine so I could go to work the next day, but I ended up working from home. Um, it was so fine, but while we were on our way to the airport we went to the airport a little bit earlier because our friends had an earlier flight than us and so we were just gonna go like hang out spend a few hours at the airport because you know how on the last day of a trip you're kind of just like if you have an afternoon flight or an evening flight you're kind of just waiting around for that flight so we ended up just going to the airport just to make it easier so we all just took an uber together and while we were on our way to the airport our flight got delayed and then within minutes it got canceled and we were like okay it got canceled um so we immediately walked into the airport went to the american airlines um desk and she was so rude right off the bat and it's like we're being so nice and saying like look our flight's canceled we're not blaming you for our flight being canceled we're just saying like what do we do so the next step was she found a flight that was a connecting flight that took us from Austin to Dallas and then um, we would have like a little bit of a layover in Dallas and then Dallas to Orlando so we got that flight and then we were sitting there and our friend's flight got delayed and then it got canceled and then there was a flash flood for like the next three hours and we were like we're not even gonna get on this flight that's leaving like I don't want to leave in weather like this it literally looked so bad outside everyone's flight was either delayed or canceled we were like looking at all of the outgoing flights everything was delayed everything was canceled there was like probably five on-time flights it was absolutely insane and then um, we were like eating and then they were like oh they're boarding so our friends were like gonna board a flight and then it got canceled it was just so crazy so they got a hotel room our flight we were like waiting around to see if it was gonna get canceled or not and our flight left at like 8 and then we were waiting for like an hour um, in the plane like it took a little bit to take off and then once we got to Dallas we were running to our next gate because our next gate the flight took off at 10 <sighs> and then that one was like a really long flight we got home we were like got into the Orlando area around two o'clock my car was at my dad's house so I, we had to take an uber to my dad's house and then drive from my dad's house to my apartment it was just a whole thing and then at 3 30 we walked in the door I showered woke up clocked in at work um at like 11 11 30 and worked but i feel like i haven't like fully recovered from like lack of sleep just kind of been go 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 so that was like a little bit rough but all in all it was such a fun trip so 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 fun and i highly recommend austin definitely recommend all of the activities we did in that vlog if you're like planning a trip or the restaurants that we went to if you're like interested in if you're wanting to go there or whatever you can always comment down below or you can message me on instagram i'll put my instagram right here and i'll like name some of the the places that we went to i also have an austin texas highlight on my instagram page so if you want to like look through that and um i tagged all of the places that we went there as well and wherever we went it was just incredible i didn't realize that austin had such great views it almost felt like i wasn't there it was just crazy but anyways um it is saturday had a, like a really slow start to the day i like slept in really late i didn't get out of bed till like 10 o'clock which is a really big sleep in for me i usually wake up at like 7 so i slept in i really need sleep i'm just feel really tired really exhausted but um it's the weekend thank goodness i'm gonna try and like recover lay low um relax i'm gonna go get a pedicure right now because i need to get one yeah and then i want to go i'm leaving a little bit early because i want to go through the starbucks line and get this drink i follow an instagram account called the macro barista and he posts like healthier versions of coffees that you can get from starbucks i'm not sure if he does it he does at home coffees too but i think he does mainly like starbucks and at home i don't think he does duncan or anything but i'll like put his name on the screen he does so many different types of like coffees so i'm gonna go get the french toast 
shaken espresso which sounds really good I've been wanting to try it for a little while now so I'm gonna get that and I'll show you guys how to order it and yeah you can also check out his Instagram account if you're interested in going to Starbucks and getting all these different fun drinks so I'm gonna go get a Starbucks right now and then I'm gonna go get a pedicure I haven't decided if I'm gonna get a manicure if I were to get a manicure before next weekend I would just go during the week because they're not like it's only been a week and a half and I usually like to wait a little bit longer before I get my nails done again probably go during the week before next weekend because next weekend we are going to South Florida I feel like Christian and I have been been just like go 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 traveling which I'm so grateful for I'm not well wow, I'm like really making this intro really long um I'm so grateful for like these trips that we've been taking and the traveling that we've been doing so I just I never travel like this so we're going to South Florida I mean he's from South Florida um, but we're staying in a hotel down there it's gonna be Labor Day weekend so it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm really excited I'll obviously be vlogging and yeah it's gonna be really fun but I'm gonna go to Starbucks and I'll show you what I get and I'll show you how to order it if you're interested Hi, can I do a um, grande shaken espresso? Also, I've been really good about my skin cycling and my face is like peeling off because of it. I didn't tan my face last night because I'm really trying to be on with my... So what skin cycling is, is you do one night of an AHA or BHA and then the next night is retinol and then it's two nights of active recovery. So I'll do like just a moisturizer or an oil one night and then I'll do skin slugging the next night. And I've really been bad about being keeping up with it because I tan my face so I like will not do it and then I'll like fall off and then I'll do it I'll basically do one cycle of it a week instead of consistently doing it so I've just been starting to consistently do it and my face is like kind of um, dry and a little bit peely which is what I want um, I got a lot of Sun on my face this summer and I'm trying to just kind of reverse some of the the damage that I've done and some of the dark spots that I've kind of gotten from the sun so I'm really trying to be good about it okay I just wanted to stop really quick and show it looks really good she gave me a straw to stir it but it's a grande shaken espresso almond milk I did the blonde espresso no classic two pumps of the cinnamon dolce syrup and then cinnamon powder on top Oh, there's a little sticker that says yay. It says yay. Mood. Okay. Oh my gosh, it literally tastes like... It literally tastes like French toast. You need to go out and try it. I'll put the information on the screen right here of what to order and like how I ordered it. It's so good. So good. Okay, I'm going to go get my nails done and... I'm just gonna get white nail polish on my toes and then head home, so. It's a lot later. We're currently on our way to the Mercedes dealership because Christian is actually kind of in the market for a new car. He is basically done paying off his current car. He drives a Lexus right now. And he's been looking into Mercedes, which I agree with because I drive one. I'll probably always I feel like my next car will definitely be a Mercedes too because they're just I really love them but he's looking at the 2022 or 2023 c300 there's none there right nothing there they're all back ordered we have to order one we're hoping when we're there that there will be some like different types of models that have the interior that he's looking for. So if he were to customize a car of his own, he would know what he likes and would be able to customize it to his liking. Okay, we just got home from Mercedes and we ate dinner at Greens and Grill, which is right there. Um, the Mercedes dealership was by the Mont Millennia area, so there's a Greens and Grill right there. So we went there for dinner and then we just got back. Christian actually um, custom built a 2023 Mercedes and put like a deposit down. And I guess he's gonna see, cause he built it out exactly how he wanted it. So I guess he's gonna see what 
the 2022 at the dealership that's the car's gonna get there in 10 days what that one's gonna look like and then drive like and then i guess decide from there but um one thing we were saying is that we're kind of we're kind of impulsy right mm -hmm. we need it now yeah we're kind of we're kind of impulse buyers so if we see something we like we're just gonna go and say like okay like let's just buy it now so we'll see what he decides in 10 days he could have a new car yeah i'm either keeping the, i'm either gonna go with the one that's already here that i'm gonna test drive and see in 10 days or i have to wait for the 2023 that i just built this time and it would come hopefully in like early november hopefully yeah. Um, if everything works out, but who if knows? It works out, yeah. So, we're also very impatient people. Like, we want something like right now, like right this second. So, if I feel like when he gets to the dealership and he drives the car, he's just gonna be like, you know what? I have this car right here, right now. Let me just do this car. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, we just got home, and I'm probably about to shower. We're not doing anything tonight. It's around what eight o'clock. So I think I'm gonna shower, take my makeup off, and relax. Football is on. Football is back. You can even focus on the screen. So that's what our our night looks like. So I was just talking about coffee with Christian, saying I wish we lived in California because they have all the cute coffee shops and stuff. But when I went to Austin, Texas. They had an Alfred's and I tried it for the first time then. I really wanted to go when we went to California, but um, we didn't end up going. I think we went to La La Land instead, which was so good and so cute. Love it there. But I wish we had cute coffee shops like that here in Orlando. So when we were at Alfred's, I picked up some espresso beans and I tried their espresso for the first time and it was so good. So I got some espresso beans for my machine, but right before we left, I purchased some La Cologne beans. So these are unfortunately filled with La Cologne. So I had to wait a little bit and it just made more sense to use the La Cologne beans first because I ordered those first and this date on it, the roast date is 816. And I know that the La Cologne beans were here like way before that. so. These will have to wait, but yeah, I'm so excited to to have these. I might start ordering them if they're good and I like them better, but so far nothing has really beat these La Cologne beans. I really, really like them. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated, especially if you have um, this machine. I know that you can order these beans online. You don't have to go purchase them in store and I believe that they come fresh. So I can link them down below, but don't really have much to say on them now except for the one coffee that I tried um, when we were there it was so good so I'll keep you guys updated but just wanted to let you guys know because I was talking about it with Christian saying I wish we had cute coffee shops and then I remembered that I purchased these and I wanted to show them <laughs>
laundry so sorry if you can hear that in the background but i just made breakfast this is what i made i made this same thing yesterday that i'm having for myself but this is christians and then for me and the avocado looks weird because i'm using this avocado mash that i got from costco a few weeks ago for times like this when i don't have fresh avocado and it has really good ingredients it's just avocados lemon juice sea salt and black pepper so there's no like additives or anything like that and i got it from costco and then what i like to do for mine is i hard boiled some eggs a few days ago and they only last so long i'm just using a cheese grater and it's so good like this the best ingredient to add the trader joe's chili onion like crunch thing this is like my favorite thing these days i literally add it on everything so 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 good We just got home from the grocery store. I cut up a big pineapple for the week and I'm about to have a poppy. These were buy one, get one free. And I feel like every time they're buy one, get one free, I definitely have to pick them up. I love the cola flavor. I'm about to put it in this cowboy boot cup that Christian and I got from Austin, Texas. If you saw the vlog, we went to a bar and it was at that bar. So we got it. I also got this t-shirt from austin texas i got it from the brandy melville store and i thought i was kind of cheating when i just went to the brandy melville store and picked this up but she told me that they were exclusive to the store so i didn't feel as bad and i just um tucked it up since they're like one size fits all i wish they sold like oversized t-shirts there but this is exactly what i'm looking for and i feel like every time i travel anywhere i always have to come home with a t-shirt or a sweatshirt with where I went on it. Time to fold. Okay, just made tacos for dinner. We use these Siete almond flour tortillas. We get them in a big bag from Costco. And then put some just Greek yogurt to act like sour cream on the bottom, ground turkey with some onion, lettuce, tomato, cheese. Very easy. Forgot to mention that we also use the Siete taco seasoning blend. So good. 